there is only one reason why you want to play Dragunov. Is this how you play Tekken? Da! Okay, so Sergei Dragunov. Um, you probably heard that this character is uh, pretty good. And he actually is, yeah. To be fair, but that could just be me. I did not find it that easy to climb with him than with Victor or Azucena. But that could also be because if you want to play Dragunov, you also need to... Yeah, you need to know what you're doing, you know, so I had the feeling that um, if you're totally new and uh, like even a toddler can play Victor or um, Azucena, well, at least Victor, I feel like that's what I feel like. For Dragunov, you want to maybe get some basics down in general and not pick him up as, as your first character. But even if you're new, you already played story mode, you played a couple of matches or some some ghost battles and uh, maybe some other characters and you thought hey you know what it's time to try out a new character so i'm going to run you down the basics of uh, a general game plan with dragunov you can do that will work for absolute beginners and from there you can then build on top of that later down the line so let's look at his pokes and dragunov's pokes um for many characters you might be used to one two right and then like one two one the issue is, you see with 1 to 1, is that it's actually blockable, it's not it's not a natural string. While you can poke with that, of course, um, it is actually a good heat engager and also becomes a becomes a combo if, if, if the enemy presses something, so on counter hit. So you see on counter hit, it works, but it's a little bit unsafe, so because right now you're minus 14, so people can punish you. So if you want to poke with 1 2, just keep it at 1-2 instead of uh, pressing 1-1. to one. Then uh, what you also can do, and I think that should be your main focus when it comes to jab pokes, it should be the other way around, it should be 2-1. So with 2-1 you can also go into 2-1-4 for a round ender for example, or for a sneaky low. Or you can go with a high, but as you can see this one is also it's not a natural string, but it's minus nine, so that means you're safe. From there, you can actually go into sneak. It's this stance he has, right? But I'm going to talk about that later. Let's focus now on the pokes first. Two one, two one four, two one three, one two, and if you get a counter hit, one two one, and you get into heat, okay? That is the stuff you should use. There's also down forward 1-4. You can do this from the from the mid check, right? So down forward one is the mid check. And you can also go into into four after that. It is safe, but as you can see it can be blocked. Okay, it's not a natural. Let's move over to his fancy stuff. I think he has a couple of fancy moves. Uh, one fancy move, for example, is up two. You can jump low attacks with that. So let's say you knocked someone down and they they want to do the get up low kick. As that's very popular on low ranks on when you're playing versus other beginners. So you can avoid that and just get another launch. It is a launcher, as you can see. So it's basically his hop kick, but it's not a kick. It's it's a it's a hop fist. Yeah. Another fancy thing you can do is you can sidestep, right? It's a 3D game, so you can sidestep. So when you're doing a sidestep and press 3 plus 4, he's doing this roll, right? And from this roll, you can use uh, different attacks. So for example, you can press 1 plus 2 um, to, get a can uh, to get a tackle. And from there, you can use other things like, uh, for example, 1 plus 2 to start beating on them. Or you can use 2 as another damage move. Or you can use one. This will deal less damage, but it will destroy all the gray health enemies have. So if they have a lot of gray health, use one, okay? Because then you will probably deal more damage. At the same time, you can use this roll to start wild standing moves. Like this, for example, right? If you just delay it a little bit, you get the wild standing stuff. But this is um, this is something you don't need to don't don't need to care about right now. Um, do some do some fancy do some fancy tackling yeah to throw them off 
So another fancy move he has is forward, forward, two. It's this fist, you see it often. But if you actually press one plus two really fast while you're in the animation of the move, you will cancel it into a grab. So let me demonstrate this. You can use input buffering for this. So what you can do is you can press forward, forward two, then hold two and press one really fast, okay? While you're holding two, it works. And for more mind games, you can even hold back to cancel this, okay? There you go. So if you're applying some pressure, you're doing some poking, yeah, you're doing some forward, forward two, enemy gets annoyed by it, they start blocking, you then mix them up with some mind games. Then another fancy move he has is up forward, three, four. It's a grab. And because he is jumping, he's airborne while doing this, he will evade high, uh, low attacks, low attacks. And another thing that I would put in fancy stuff is a down back three. It's a snake edge, basically. So it's a very risky move. That's what snake edges are. But it should work in lower ranks. And in lower ranks, you're almost always able to get a small combo out of that, right? Stay cautious when you use snake edges because they're very punishable when they get blocked. But uh, yeah, snake edges, they work in lower ranks. So if you're st just starting out and you're playing versus other people starting out, you can use it. Now, as with every character, you want to do the combo challenges, of course. And um, the sample combo you can check up on uh, is, uh, where is it? Sample combo seven. So this combo is not too difficult. We pin it. And as you can see, it starts from a counter hit with uh, with his while running two, right? So um, after that, you press down two, and then you can just press four because after this move you're low. He's going to do the while rising to uh, while rising four, right? And then you continue with the combo. So you don't have to use the while running two as a launcher you can also use this combo like with all the videos that i told you is uh, you can use different launchers you can use this launcher for example and then you can go into the combo right that's fine and you can also uh like while rising two that's also a launcher um just practice sample combo seven just as a bread and butter combo for you easy you can use it almost after every launcher and you're totally fine and also you can use the rage art in the end just replace the rage art with the last sequence right so it's not too difficult it's quite simple i think you should uh, be able to do this after like 20 minutes in the lab and you'll be able to do this now let's talk about Sneak. Sneak is his uh, stance, right? It's this little dash here. And uh, you don't have to input Sneak manually. What you can do is you can uh, press one uh, 2, 1, and then you press down forward. You just hold it down forward and he goes into Sneak, right? From Sneak, you have different options. You can press uh, all the buttons, one, two, three, four. So if you press four, you will get a heat engager. It's a mid. Press three, you get a low. Some enemies are re really liking, they like to stand block, of course, in Tekken, so use this as a poke. And when they get annoyed, when they see it coming, you can condition the enemy with that. Uh, you can then, instead of pressing three, you can press two while doing the sequence. And then you launch them because it's a mid. And from this launcher, you can, again, just use sample combo seven. And while sneaking, uh, while, and while you're in sneak and press one, it's just another poke. It's safe. You're minus three, so that means you're safe. Now let's summarize. So you want to use a little bit of pokes. Sometimes you want to poke into sneak, into the heat engager, into the launcher, depending on the conditioning you did on the enemy. Use the fancy stuff a little bit here and there, right? Uh, use mind games. 
mix them up with your mind gaming. And um, now we move on to the Whiff Punishers. So as Whiff Punishers, you can use while standing 1 plus 2. Yeah, while standing means you duck and then you let go of ducking. You press 1 plus 2 and you get a, you get a good keep out move. That's good for Whiff Punishing attacks that are high. Like because you duck under the high and then you give them the shoulder. And another thing you can use is a forward 1 plus 2. As you can see, this move has really good range. Let me check. So it's like 3 meters. So it's a it's a good whiff punishing tool. It's it's kind of similar to King's uh, Shadow Lariat, right? For the Power Crush, you can use 1 plus 2. So you always want to use at least one Power Crush that uh, you can use when you feel like the enemy is starting to spam a lot. So... 1 plus 2 is the power crush you could, you can use with him, so do it. It's also a mid. And plus frames is also what you can do as Dragonov a lot. It's uh, the combo starter of Samba Combo 7, that's the while running 2. You see this move a lot. Now, if you get blocked... You're plus 6, right? So, if you get a launcher on the enemy... Let's say you do it some combos, you kick them back. What you then want to do is you want to follow up and give them the fist because then you're plus and you can do another thing. Like, for example, uh, you're plus six and you can start jabbing. They will, if they press something, you will win, right? And um, you keep holding on the pressure. You're plus seven actually now. Wow, that was probably because of the get up. And after that, you can also press uh, up forward uh, two, uh, 2 plus 1, up, up, up forward 1 plus 2 grab, right? Um, that grab is also a floor break, so yeah, people don't see it coming. So there's not much I can talk about in heat right now, because uh, his heat stuff is uh, basically buffing his, his tackles. So some of the tackles become uh, unbreakable. This is something uh, you should read up on yourself. Just open the move list and check which grab, which tackles are useful and which not. But your play style doesn't really change when you're in heat. You're, you're still doing the same stuff. So if you're just starting out with Dragunov, playing your first matches, uh, there's not much. You want to keep it simple, right? Try to keep it simple for your first days to, uh, to not make your head explode. So what's also kind of cool about Dragonov is that you have a couple of wake-up specials. You can use, for example, when you're lying on the floor like this, you can press 1 plus 2 two times, or you can spam it, and you will grab the enemy into a tackle, right? Um, the other wake-up option you have is when you're lying uh, on the ground with your with your feet towards the enemy, and uh, then with your, with your chest down. You also have a couple of moves there you can use. Uh, just some fancy little things. Keep that in mind, it's uh, pretty useful. Just additional get-up options, but um, if it's too much, if uh, already the first stuff is uh, too much for you for the start, keep it simple. Stay with the with the jabs, and then go into sneak. Condition the enemy to to duck, then use the launcher, then use sample combo seven, right? And also, if you get a launcher in, use sample combo seven from from other launchers, and. Then use some fancy stuff, yeah, to mind game your opponent. And this is all you need to start playing the character. So I will, as as always, as I did with the last uh, guides, I will just um, add a couple of uh, clips in the end, just to just to give you some examples, uh, simple examples uh, that uh, you can see that uh, I did in live matches. So I hope you had fun with that guide. And yeah, enjoy Dragunov. I think he's cool. He just requires a little bit more effort than um, someone like Azucena or Victor. But I think Dragunov is worth it if you put in the time and effort and the training. Because the, he, he allows for more mind gaming. Yeah, And if you're good in mind games, you kind of feel very smart, right? Because all the enemies, they're, they're just more... They're just not as smart as you, right? This is how you feel when you play. All right, have fun playing Tekken 8, and I'm going to see you in the next one.